This is Musicast 012. Welcome to this Musicast supporting teacher education. In the studio today we have Hugh Smith. Welcome Hugh. Hello again. What is the focus of this music cast? In this third music cast about music notations, I'm going to look at the whole area of graphic notation. Graphic notation is where you represent sounds by using shapes or patterns. The shapes and patterns can illustrate things like how high or low, fast or slow, and a number of other aspects of how we want to play the sounds. Graphic cards can be created to illustrate individual aspects of sound reproduction. Look at the example here. The graphic card illustrates that there's a low note and a high note and all the other notes in between. Here is another example. Did you notice that there were two distinct notes, a low note and a high note, but there were no notes in between? Here is another example. The number and type of graphic cards are really only limited by the imagination. Pupils will have fun doing this kind of exercise and will come up with some very, very interesting ideas of how to represent sounds. The shapes and patterns that are devised for graphic cards can be expanded into something called a graphic score. This is where you combine many, many aspects of graphic card type shape patterns, but into a much bigger and larger illustration for performance. Until next time. (music) 